This is New York City, where nearly two million New Yorkers face hunger. This is New York City, where millions of pounds of good, healthy food go to waste every year. City Harbor Sachs is a very important bridge in New York City, a bridge that connects the food that will go to waste to the hungry New Yorker. Hungry New York City has changed a lot in the last few years. Since 2008, we've seen the poverty level rise to 21%, which is the highest it's been in a decade. In a city that's very expensive to live in, so many of our neighbors are facing many more pressures. SNAP is the program that used to be called Food Stamps. On November 1st, every person in the country and in New York City is on SNAP. More than 1.8 million people saw their benefits decrease. What that means is so many more of our neighbors are forced to turn to the agencies that City Harvest is taking food to. We're seeing working families, families that are driving cars, families that have a home. We have families that are on SNAP, but yet thought everything was well, lost their job, and see the need to come. I have a wife and three kids. $200 a month is not enough. You come out with six bags. Six bags not going to be enough for a whole month. Any money that's less a month really makes you worry about, am I going to be able to put food on the table, or am I going to get my prescriptions filled, or am I going to pay my heating bill? City Harvest attacks hunger in New York City along two prongs. The first is we have to keep moving food to a network of 500 soup kitchens and food pantries. City Harvest is very fortunate to be able to rely on an incredible group of donors that have made it possible for us to put in place a really fantastic food rescue facility where we can bring in much more fresh fruits and vegetables, more than we've ever been able to do before. There's 25,000 restaurants just in New York City alone. It's almost a responsibility, I think. City Harvest can act as a natural bridge between what we do and what the need is. We have about 36 restaurants in the New York area. So City Harvest picks up from all of our restaurants on a daily basis. One week uh, a month for each restaurant, we basically make family meal for about 50 people, then you guys come pick it up. The other prong sees us really looking at some of the root causes of hunger in the poorest neighborhoods in New York City. We do that by creating access to really great quality food. The mobile market, which is a massive open and distribution of fresh fruits and vegetables. Today we have over 29,000 pounds of produce for distribution. Sweet potato. This white potatoes, the carrots. You always get a lot of onions. Apples today. The time that they gave out the fresh beets, that was wonderful because I never had them before. Bodegas do not have this type of food. <laughs> when City Harvest was down here, we didn't got no, no fruit, we didn't have nothing. That's why people, they talk about it and they're happy about it. If you have a limited income, you can't always just go and buy all of this fresh fruit. With City Harvest, you get a big mixture, especially vegetables and greens galore. We host a whole suite of programs dedicated to teaching nutrition education and basic cooking skills to residents of all ages. We have class in a nutrition class. I graduated three times already. The best thing about the, all the recipe is that you have it in both languages. Spanish one side and English on the other side. I think it's really important to start educating our children on the importance of eating healthy and having healthy diets. What's your favorite thing you've learned so far in our classes? I learned that it is important to eat healthy. I learned how to cut. My dad was like, I want to do something, I want to do something. So he took the zucchini from me and just started cutting it. And I was like, no, no, that's not how you cut it. So I showed him how to cut it. I really don't want my mom when she gets, you know, a little bit elder age for her to have problems when she grows up. So what City Harvest actually did was they helped me to change my lifestyle. I lost about 100 pounds. I'm now 148 pounds. I'm even more excited about life. So thank you, City Harvest. City Harvest bridges the gap between us and the community and those that are really in need. Customers that are a part of the SNAP uh, program represent, I would say, like a 60% of the store. City Harvest has been doing uh, walking tours, cooking demos. For instance, right now they're having a food tasting. The apple. Apples, raisins, raisin, and, and cinnamon. That's it. And no oil, no, no butter, oil. no nothing. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. Thank yes. you. Thank you for trying it. it. Gives us a closer relationship to the customer. We just have people coming back and saying how good it is. We have seen some kids just asking their moms to try it or to make it at home for them. We're in a very fortunate position of being able to connect those incredible donors to the hungry New Yorkers who need help. I don't think food is a privilege, it's a right that you should be able to eat. Well, what would happen without the help of City Harvest, our pantry will have gone right back to like where we started. Cans, 
and cans and bread, and that's it. I am the bridge between the excess food in New York City and the people who need it. When I'm home eating my dinner, I know that there's other people out there that's eating dinner also because of City Harvest. This is New York City, where every New Yorker should have access to good, healthy food that they can afford. This is New York City, where no New Yorker should ever go hungry. Let's feed our people. Donate to City Harvest today.